Hey you, how are you doing? Uh, I have my lung capacity right now. Uh, it's, uh, I'm just gonna take it, take it uh, as I can. Um, and the pain is minimal. So anyways, I got this order uh, from Chelsea's Beads. I have been wanting to order from Chelsea's Beads for like uh, more than a year and a half. Um, it's been a while, and I don't know why I haven't, like, pulled the trigger <laughs> until now. Um, I think, well, also, it was an amazing sale and prices. Um, some really interesting beads. Anyways, uh, so, this is, like, my last kind of, uh, big bead purchase for a while. Um, I need to cool it. Uh, on the bead buying so there's some fun stuff in here let's get into it okay I'm having to redo this um, so the reason I bought I really I, I went I pulled the trigger was these African um, source but Czech made or Bohemia made uh, snake beads uh, there's five strands. There's two major colors, a salmon and a dark blue, but there is like a teal, two teal and two yellow. So, <laughs> and there, I think there's one black. Oh man, we're, I think, yeah, one black right there. Um, so yeah, I've always wanted these. I don't know if they're actually antique. Um, because this, dirtying effect uh they will do that to beads to make them more valuable um but you can also look and see how these are not all totally uniform in size and like how we think of check beads today so this could actually be bohemia or check made um but yeah, I added it was twenty dollars for these five strands. Um, so that's a screaming deal, screaming deal for snake style beads. I got this mala. I've already used it because I've done a project already. This is like, <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna put this in the beginning of the video. But this beautiful mala, um, these eight millimeter cards. Let's get some. It's so noisy. Oh, I love brass. I love, <laughs> I know, these things are everywhere, but I love them. Um, yeah, they just had a beautiful finish to them. All right, you don't hear my husband groaning in his sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully I successfully talked over him making sleepy sounds. Um, these are huge. Horn beads with gold accents. I think these were two dollars a strand or something. I think these are also horn, and these were like two. I mean, a lot of these were like two dollars a strand. And I love this. this these are so cool. <laughs> these are so unique, and it looks beautiful in this bowl, doesn't it? Oh, I love chunky beads. Um. Put those off to the side. They're just beautiful to look at. Look at those. <laughs> um, so no, I've already kind of started a project with these wood beads that are inlaid. I've been I'm working on an idea. This is this is a half baked idea. Anyways, um, uh, so there's some beads that are inlaid with different kinds of wood. Uh, I think even cocoa shell might be used in these. Um, stop focusing. And you see they kind of have like a little bit of like one of the sharper edges and some like rounder edges. Um, 30 pieces for $15 is, that's a good price for inlaid beads. And I think these are the last ones that didn't record, didn't look right. So I wanted to re-record this, <laughs> being a perfectionist. So these... 15 10 piece. Oh, these are beautiful. So that's like an unheard of price for color like this. 
and glued together beautiful pieces. Um, look at that amethyst color. Listen to this. Listen to this ASMR, guys. Excuse the hospital <laughs> uh, pokes and jabs. <laughs> Listen to that ASMR. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> I'm going to now go back to the video that's been previously recorded. And I got to do some crazy editing because I was like trying to make a lot of earrings and physically I got too tired. All right, I'm going to get this into edit now. Those colors. Okay, let's pull out some of this glass. So she has some Millefiore beads. Oh, they're beautiful. They've got large holes. Um, these might be vintage. Like maybe a lot of that stuff kind of got really popular in the 80s. Now it's really popular again. <laughs> nice, I guess. But Yeah, so, yeah, these were $2 a strand, and I, yeah, they were usually 5 but these were on sale for 2 and so I got two of them, in that color, and I got in these color, I just couldn't decide, like, she had so many, you guys have got to check it out, I'm gonna definitely put the links below, um, they're a little dusty, a lot of this is, like, new old stock or some of it is actually um used beads i think some of it might become like, like reclaimed from estate sales and such and so here's some lampwork glass they kind of look chinese i don't know um but it's got that beautiful blue and yellow oh that's really gorgeous Oh, sorry, the, like, you probably hear the heater, it's like six degrees or something outside and the furnace is just going all the time. Look at these lampwork glass. These are really pretty. They need to be cleaned. And that's very indicative of probably maybe India glass, but it's really fun. I love getting this strand. Um, look at the color, so work so well to each other, with each other. The blue in there, and some stone. stone. I, she had a lot of stones in this rondelle. Um, it kind of has that saucer similar to the Ashanti bead. Um, I have some wood, all oh, those wood beads are way over there, I can't reach them. Um, I kind of got these as like a test. So I was like, I'm not sure how these would feel. Um, would they look good with African beads? And yeah, I think these would look great with African beads or just any beads. These are, uh, I believe these are serpentine. These are beautiful. This is very beautiful. So I'm getting into serpent. I think this is either a dyed jade or a dyed quartz. Um, it's faceted coin. It's really gorgeous. Wow. That is stunning. Beautiful beads. Oh, I love that. I don't have... If I have this color, I'm not aware of it. That's beautiful. Oh, I heard got some more acrylic. Um, it says... 12, but I'm pretty sure these were two dollars a strand and I thought they looked really earthy and I love how like they kind of look nice with like this color palette um, this really earthy salmony color palette with these like these mauves and pinks and browns um, and again they're chunky and they're lightweight because they're acrylic but they're really beautiful beads. 
like that seam, it's smooth. It's not the funky um, plastic. It's really nice, well-made acrylic that has that depth that gives you like the illusion of like stone or, or a natural material. We got another acrylic bead imitating some natural material. Uh, I don't know if this is imitating bamboo. It's a little color. You could probably get um, some like rubbing alcohol and try cleaning that off. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard to see. I'm trying to get it to focus. I think you can kind of see those smudges. Uh, but yeah, these are, uh, I don't know. 13, I did not pay 13. I paid something way less than 13. Um, these are these are great because they're they're big and they're chunky and they're <laughs> lightweight. Um, we got some more acrylic beads. Should keep those out of the way. These are really beautiful. I believe there's different sizes and shapes of this finish of acrylic bead. Really fun. That the little like brush strokes like kind of look like Picasso Jasper or like a really beautiful like Marina Jasper. Okay. And then we got a strand in red and a strand in purple. I thought these would look great. I don't do I have those other beads? Um, the metal ones. Oh yeah, like these. I think these. Uh, I think these came from beatbox bargains, maybe. Um, but I thought they would. They played with each other well. Um, these look really great with African beads, or you know, those trade style beads, Indonesian beads, all that stuff. I mean, twenty dollars. No, that's not what I paid. I think I paid like two dollars a strand. I thought this was a really fun, like punchy color. I think I, I like to use that word. Uh, is it focusing? Is it focusing? These are just beautiful acrylic beads. Just beautiful. They have that beautiful depth. I got some yellow beads. I think these are gorgeous. They're kind of like an orangey yellow. Um, they're nice and big. These would make some really fun earrings. These, like, oh, what could be a trio? What could be the third color? I really like that. I don't really have quite the color, but something like in a teal. That's really beautiful. I got these acrylic. It says $8, which that's not how much they were. Um, yeah. I got two. I like that shape. Yeah, you can. I love how like, you can see the seam. There, I'm trying to focus. There, you can see the seam there. Beautiful beads. And then I got some stone beads. What are these? Fossil coral, I think. Yeah, these are fossil coral. And they're kind of yellow. Can you see that yellow in them? That's why I bought them because they're a really beautiful yellow fossil coral. I wasn't sure how yellow they would be, but they are great. They're very earthy, so they're kind of got that rough polish. I mean, it's a nice shine, but there's like some little rough spots. It's beautiful. Oh, whoa, look at those colors. Yummy. Autumn is over, but that's beautiful. Okay, and the last strand. Oops, sorry about that noise. Oh my goodness, what is this? Mm. I liked it. I like the lines in it. it. It made me think of like animal hides or animal print. I hate to say hides as if <laughs> that's not, a, that's just their body. <laughs> I don't want to call it a hide. <laughs> um, let's see, those are really pretty. Wow. Oh my goodness. I bag empty. <laughs> Can you believe it? We did that in under 20 minutes. Uh, so guys, you've got to check out 
Chelsea's beads. For real. <laughs> For real. I thought, if anything, I could just do a quick pair of earrings or something. Um, a lot of this, like here, I believe many of the, like, the, the, she, uh, let me get my sleeves rolled up. Uh, like a lot of these beads, uh, Chelsea's beads, these are from Chelsea's beads. I, I also did an unboxing. Hopefully I could put that up before this one. Um, like make something, some earrings. So like a lot of these beads I think you can still find on her site um, if they haven't been bought out. This one, I don't know if she had other strands. So like a lot of these beads you can still find. Um, they're not like hard to find right now. Like right now as of like January 7th. 7th or 8th? I don't know what day it is. Um, I lost track of time. Okay, so let's make some space and let's make some bead, beaded earrings. Um, let's get some ideas. Here's, some, here's an interesting shape. This might be a funky, I love that funky color combo. Oh, look at these guys. What do you, what do you think of this mixture? Oh, here we go. I don't know, I really like that. I like those colors together. They're real earthy. Let's see if we can do something with that. Um, oh shoot, I... <laughs> I need like a... I need somewhere to put this stuff. Um, I also want to mention that I have some, I pulled out some seed beads. Uh, I, I don't know, I thought these vibrant colors looked really fun, but it's like now that I picked out these colors, it's, well, that looks, actually, those kind of look fun with those darker colors. Not, not that green. Yeah, not that yellow. That orange and black turquoise look beautiful. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's see what kind of bead business we can get going here. I know it takes me. I hear that tangy toy. They get so excited when I do videos. It's so weird. Okay, let's see. These are acrylic. They have pretty nice seams. Like, just kind of looks like pressed glass. It's nice and lightweight. Um, so we got these serpentine. Gosh, I gotta get money. <laughs> gotta get money. I gotta be good with money. But man, I want to get so many more of these beads. Uh, okay, let's do the horrible thing here. And can I? Oh wait, can I undo it? All right, here, here we go. We want to watch Rebecca and more of her crazy. I, I have, you know, people are like, oh, it's OCD. No, I really do have OCD. I typically have pure OCD, which is like uh, worse than this type of ritual stuff. Okay, I'm not going to fight with it. I was like, okay, I'll let it go. Move on. I always like to be able to save the string. Oh, <laughs> watch out, Rebecca. So like, yeah. Oh, I love these colors together. These are really beautiful. <clears throat> uh, um, Sorry. Okay. Gotta go put it right there. All right, get some beads off there so we can see the string. So you don't just pick up your beads and go flying everywhere. I like this brighter silver. This, I don't know. Not, a lot of people are using like stainless steel and stuff and I don't know. I don't like the look of it. But I totally get why you would use it. Um, this kind of has a messed up. This has a little weird end. So I'm thinking of trying something here with some seed beads. Cut that tail off. Okay, so like we have these guys like, doo -doo -doo. they're kind of like this little dancing angel earrings. 
um, these are really simple, but like the colors like make, and the colors and like textures and everything like really get an interest. Um, so when you're designing something, uh, you want to take that into heart. So what kind of, I think like that contrast of that blue looked beautiful, but like now looking at, now looking at it, I don't know. This one is a better blue. I've got, I've got a ton more seed beads. It's ridiculous how many seed beads I have when I'm not even a seed bead person. If I see seed beads on sale, I'm just like, I gotta buy them. <laughs> They're on sale. I gotta buy them, Rebecca. Okay. Oh boy, excuse the noise. So these are my buy the beads. Um, beads. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is like, yep. Man, I love these seed beads. You see that color? Do you see that color? That mustard? Isn't that delicious? <laughs> okay, I'm glad I, I'm glad I looked in that bag. All right, let's. I also wish these were a little bit bigger. I wish these were like a size eight, not a size eleven. Hi, I see you. I hear you. I don't know what you want. I mean, other than for me to pay attention to you. Because you guys are attention hogs. Okay, so. Um. Man, all these trucks. Like, it, there's all this, like tons of snow outside. Um, so I'm gonna cut like a 10 inch piece. Oh, don't fall over, okay. So I'm gonna cut a piece and then I'm gonna get another piece. Let's measure it with Doesn't have to be precise. It's is not precise wire work at all. I don't do that. Oh boy, I need to be careful. That is gonna hit me or a cat. Shoot. I wish I wouldn't do that. Anyways, okay. Hopefully this what okay, this is 22 gauge. I wrote 22 on there. Um if you lose the wrapper or whatever, you're like, I don't know what it always write the gauge inside your spool. Um and then you'll know in the future. So let's get some of these mustard beads Let's see let's, <clears throat> let's kind of grab them at both ends here man my mouth is my mouth is so dry or my throat is dry I'm trying to talk and boy it is dry okay so I'll pull this down Oh, get in there, people. Come on, peep, peep, peep people. Um, not sure if this is what I want to do. Okay, so wait, let me, if I do it any tighter, it might not work out as well. You see that? That's Got that. Hmm. All right. Oh my goodness. I might fast forward this <laughs> so you don't have to sit through all this painful. Oh, this is not as easy. <laughs> They're so slippery. Uh, oh man, I don't know about that. That wrap looks awful. Okay, let's see if we can get a better wrap under here. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that's focusing. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, shoot. Dang 
yeah, this hole is going to be too small to pass this wire through twice. I didn't think about that. I shouldn't have had such a tail here because a waste of wire. It could, it could have been used uh, on this to string the rest of the beads on. Then I could do like a messy wrap. But now that this, now that this is shorter, this takes away the amount of messy wrap I can make. Um, messy wrap. All right, let's snip off this end here. And then make sure we press it down. And I was thinking, kind of thinking maybe adding a charm to cover up that gap there. That gap bothers me. <laughs> that little gap. I'm like, ah, it bothers me. <laughs> Even though it would be on my head. What do you think of that? I think that's really cute. I like that. Okay, so we'll put this serpentine rondelle. Oh, wow, I like that. It's like a little... What do you guys think of that? I'm actually liking that now. Um, I wonder if there should be, I would, uh, I wonder if, hmm, uh, I wonder if, okay, I don't think this is going to look right, but I'm just going to try it, no, it won't work on that other one, because, um, back, I gotta catch my breath. Okay. All right. Not even ready yet. Oh man, just doing these simple earrings is taking it out of me. Oh man. Oh boy. Um. Ooh, those look good. Um. Try some glass Indonesian Haishi beads. Maybe I claw on my chair. Be a little nitwit. <laughs> it's a wicker chair. I uh, long ago gave up on fighting with the cats. Oh, the blue. The blue just adds so much. It takes it from just being super drab. Yeah. A little blue. A little blue matters. Okay, what do we want to put on top? Do we want to do these little guys at top? What do you think about that? I hate to cut this strand. I don't even know where this strand came from. This strand. It's like a little wad of beads. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think of those earrings? I think those are pretty jazzy. Um, man, I really, this is, I'm really regretting. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. All right, we're just, we're just gonna do this bead up. Okay. All right, oh, my hands, it's been a while since I've, okay, so we're gonna do a 90 degree angle using a flat nose plier. Just a little bit of, a little bit of room Shoot. just a little bit of room above the top there you see that okay <clears throat> I like to use a bale uh, I use like I think this is like three millimeter not three millimeter is it three millimeter it might be three millimeter uh, anyways bell and there's like other I don't know. I don't remember what company made these either from a while ago. So I'm going to try to get that right there on the edge of that. And then roll that over with my hand. And look at how I'm repositioning this to get this out of the way here so this can come ac across and wrap. So 
please stay focused camera. There we go. Can you see that cross? Put it more to the edge. And then we just wrap. This is just messy wrap. Because we are doing earthy, funky designs. Whew. All right. Now, you can be like a perfectionist. Um, well, it's good. Also, you want to, this is very soft wire. This craft wire is like dead soft. Um, you just want to tuck that, tuck that tail in there. Get in there, you little tail. Mm. Okay. All right. Man, what do you guys think of that? That's even a cute pendant. I need to play with beads more often. I feel like, I feel happy inside. <laughs> I mean, I know, it might not be your cup of jam, or cup of jam, or your, cu your cup of java. Uh, I don't know, that doesn't even bother any, doesn't bother me right now. I really like it. <laughs> I made something that I like. Wow. Okay, um. Flip around a lot. Oh, I the know. earring I, I was thinking like... hanging dangles, like some tigers or something from there, but I'm pretty happy with these. Um. What do you guys think? I think it's fun. It's like this, like, like round, shoot, <laughs> round beads. Don't get that. Let me get that. That's not for you. Okay, wait. First, tell me where it went. Oh, I see. Thank you for pointing it out. I mean, if anything, that's they let me know where a bead <laughs> definitely rolled to. So, like round beads, you know, like. Can be jazzier depending on the the material, um, the finish, uh, the design. Like this has carving, which adds a lot of interest. It has like antiquing, which adds a lot of interest. So um, and like this wood bead here has like that highlight in the center, which looks really beautiful with high, with these kind of highlights. So when you're making a piece. Um, that's kind of what I try to think about. I try to think about like shapes, um, the form, like what, like its outer form, um, and then the color is important. As you can see, these mustard beads just, you know, so much better. Like, this, like the blue, putting the blue like that, I just, you know, you can make design choices like that. Maybe you would like these better and you would like the mustard yellow because I have mustard yellow so um yeah um those are things that take into consideration when you just have like round beads um it can be a little hard to come up with a super awesome design if you're just gonna do straight beads on a head pin um you could do like like clusters and different sides around um, that would that would add up add to more interest to your piece um, okay I'm just gonna put ear hooks on these and just call it these earrings to oh shoot these are crazy ear wires that are crazy stiff dang I don't need these <clears throat> yeah, I'm just having some pain, and I, um, it's getting a little <laughs> hard for me to breathe, so I just figured, alright, just, just call it a day, because, like, I'm having a hard time sitting here, 
That's just really weird. Just weird. Okay. It could have been like really meticulous and made these beads on here tight on this wire. There, there's different ways I could have done that. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm okay if this moves around. So these are my earrings uh, uh, using the beads I recently got with my Chelsea's bead order. Uh, I added this wood bead, this Indonesian blue bead here, and these, uh, I believe, Czech or Japanese the uh, checker Japanese seed beads. Anyways, these are super cute earrings. They kind of look like little ladies. They, they kind of bend, so you gotta, you know, depending on your wire, my wire, uh, uh, is this, I think it's the artistic wire. Um, it was 22 gauge that I used. So, yeah, they're lightweight because this, this big bead here is um, acrylic, so it's lightweight. Yay! All right, thanks for watching. Hope you're doing good. Uh, love you bunches. Bye-bye, everybody.